few different pricing strategies who could help. So she's going to be continuously. So we started off. Um, we did introductions. We then um, uh, Cindy was there. We then kicked off. We had a discussion regarding Turkey and Booking.com. So yes, we did. Unlike the revenue guys, we did have OTAs up front. So we started off because of the issue there where Booking.com is um, basically shut off in Turkey for booking Turkish hotels. We had a discussion on parity. Is it a rate parity, availability parity, etc. Uh, we then had the comment from the gentleman over there, the fact that probably Booking.com has been shut off in Turkey because of the issues between the Netherlands and Turkey, which is quite interesting. If you think about now political, not only do we have political situations impacting the business, such as the tax, etc., but now we have political situations between countries impacting the business or potentially impacting the business. So we talked about availability parity, rate parity. Does it really matter? Yes, no. Um, quite a big discussion on that. We then decided to dive into content. So we talked about content, and we said, it's, you know, content, we normally look at it from hotels up to the guest or the customer, but maybe we need to look at it from the customer down. What is the customer really looking for? We had an interesting discussion on uh, channel mix and can we influence the customers to where they go? Right? If somebody likes to book on the telephone, they'll book on the telephone. But are, what are the opportunities to be able to move them? So very good discussions on that. Uh, content came up. Imagine that distribution talking about content. How do we actually align content or what can be done because it's very fragmented? And the fact is it's also very inconsistent. Now, there was a discussion that 1996 came up as a number where Head and I started talking about a single content pool. About, you know, it's been talked about for a long time, but it's never really moved. How do we see that go? A lot of discussions around that. We started, of course, talking about disruptors, all the things that are coming into the market. Funnily enough, we had a coffee break. Not funny, we had a coffee break, but during the coffee break, one of the gentlemen, who can't see you anymore, asked about, we hadn't actually mentioned Airbnb. So we had a distribution discussion for an hour and a half, and nobody mentioned Airbnb. So that afterwards, we went back and we talked about Airbnb. Yes, is that an accomplishment? Is that good or bad? Yeah. <laughs> um, considering we mentioned OTAs in the first 30 seconds, I would say no. <laughs> so we kind of fell off that slippery slope. We did have a big discussion you sort of mentioned on about alignment of systems. How to being able to get the data, how do we get parts going that way, which was quite interesting. And then also, uh, of course, on cost of acquisition, what is cost of acquisition? It's more than just commissions and all that other stuff. It's what we give away in terms of the rate. And how do we, from a distribution point of view, facilitate that? We then had a discussion about we kind of sit in the middle between marketing and revenue. Right? We sort of, revenue decides the prices and the availability. We push it out. And marketing goes and markets what revenue and distribution have put on the shelf uh, to an extent. Right, we had Airbnb and then someone brought up Facebook. So we had an interesting discussion on Facebook. Uh, we talked about how does Facebook become commercial, right? There's a lot of things where people talk about all the likes, et cetera, that we get, but is that actually bringing in every, any revenue? Question, big question mark. Um, we also talked, how is Facebook still relevant? And then another question in terms, again, going back to cost of acquisition on a distribution side. How do we actually prioritize what we do? Because there's not a bottomless bucket of money and resources we can throw at things, is saying what's going to have the biggest uh, impact on it. Um, what else? We had some technology updates from a few people. We had um, Hotel Tonight was there. That's quite interesting, because we were talking about impact of Airbnb on Hotel Tonight and how it's different. Um, talked a bit about GDS there. But a lot of it was trying to get under, talking more about issues, and then some of the related topics that sort of led us into other things. That's actually quite an interesting thing. What was from hindsight on it, we talked a lot about online, which is maybe mainly leisure business. We didn't really talk that much about corporate business, and we didn't talk anything about meeting and events business. For a lot of us as hoteliers, is a big chunk of our business. Because it is interesting, as soon as we start talking distribution, and it came up yesterday when we were talking data as well, we focus on that online piece, let's say the direct, indirect, but there's all that other business we get that for a number of us at our hotels is just as important, if not more important, uh, to the bottom line.